summertime 4th of July bow because fall decorating is coming soon. Slipped. I don't know what happened. I never even heard the alarm. Never heard it. When I woke up, it was like 7.45. What I think happened is I didn't set the alarm. Sometimes, I don't know, the sunrise alarm clock that I have, I got it from, did I get that from Walmart, y'all? Pretty sure I ordered it from Walmart. Anyway, most of the time, it reset, like you don't have to set it every night. It automatically, the alarm stays on. But if you cut it off a certain way, in the morning then you have to turn it back on so there's like two buttons you can hit you can hit the alarm off button or you can hit the top button that just turns off the sunrise light and all that i'm thinking i must have hit the alarm off button yesterday morning and then i didn't check it last night when i went to bed to make sure that the little light was on at the alarm so i'm thinking that's what happened because it's not like me not to hear the alarm and that one won't stop like it will not stop you have to stop it so i've got some pizzas in the oven they still have about about five or six minutes. Okay. I still want you to. Yeah, I don't want you Is it so squishy? I think we can press it in the pan. Can I press it too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We still have these pizza crusts in the other refrigerator. Wait, let's spray it first. Let's get a little spray. We still have these pizza crusts in the other refrigerator. We're gonna make some cheesy breadsticks with one of them. Okay, I'm going. He's going, okay, you gonna press it down? Yeah. Here we go, let's stretch it out. Press it in the pan here. It's <laughs> so squishy. <laughs> that fun? Yeah. Now. Now. now we get a little bit of oil, a little bit of olive oil in a bowl. Here you go, Cece. You can pour a little in there. I help you. Can you brush it on there? There's your one, Cece. It's pee. Okay, I got it. That's good. Now we're going to sprinkle on some garlic powder. And now we put the best part. What's the best part, Manny? Cheese. Cheese. We're going to put the cheese. Just reach in there and put it all on the top. Bring the cheese. Yeah, it's all done. The part. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more garlic powder and then Jonah's going to shake on the parsley flakes. Oh. Alright, go ahead. Okay, I have you, Jonah. <laughs> Is he doing it good, Manny? Yeah. That's it. Now when the pizza comes out of the oven, we'll stick this in there for just about 10 to 12 minutes, maybe about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little salad together. But yeah, I hate when I oversleep because all day long I just feel like I'm behind, even though I just try to pick up where I would be like at that time, which this morning, by the time I finished getting ready, that would normally be the time that, you know, I would have breakfast ready for everybody. So instead of the breakfast quesadillas that I had planned on cooking, we just had to have something faster this morning. So that meant it was a find what you want for breakfast day. I made those donuts yesterday to go with the breakfast quesadillas that I was gonna make this morning. So a few of the kids, you know, ate a little donut with their whatever they picked to have for breakfast. They didn't really love those chocolate ones too much. I was surprised. I thought they would really like the chocolate ones, but they didn't. It was so cool today too, y'all. I am not kidding. When we went out to let the chickens out and everything this morning, 
the wind was blowing, but it's blowing in more rain, so I'm kind of mad at it. <laughs> Getting the pizzas out real quick. I had this DiGiorno one on the top rack so that I could cook them all at one time. And then when they just had about five more minutes, I switched them and put the DiGiorno on the bottom so it could get a little crispier. And there we go. Now I'll put the cheese sticks in. So these two are the Motor City Pizza Company pizzas. They're the ones that won the pizza contest when we did that. It's probably been a year and a half ago. It's been a long time. Anyway, the Motor City Pizza Company pizzas were the ones that won the pizza contest. And then we have DiGiorno for the cheese pizza. I'm gonna put a green bell pepper in here. I don't think I have any tomatoes. Nope, I'm out of tomatoes, so I'm gonna wash the pepper. The cheesy bread is done. I'm just gonna let it finish cooling down and then we'll cut it into sticks. There's the timer. I took it out early. <laughs> Thank you, timer. You did your job today. Mr. Alarm Clock's having issues. <laughs> bonanza in the background the boys put it on and then they went outside and now I'm stuck in here gonna have to find out what's gonna happen to these cart rides whatever happens we know they make it everything always turns out good for the cart rides. <laughs> okay I finished cleaning the kitchen and then I went ahead and brought out some fall stuff I'm probably gonna decorate inside tomorrow I don't know about outside because the weather you know is crazy but I'm definitely gonna be decorating inside so I went ahead and got all the fall stuff out that I had in here all my other stuff is down at the shop shed and it's already getting kind of dark so I can't see in there right now. I mean I could take a flashlight but there are probably spiders and stuff so we'll just wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Titus and the boys are still outside. I could send them in there with a flashlight but I know exactly where everything is and they don't and so I'll just get it tomorrow. But yeah I got this stuff out. I thought I had a little bit more stuff in my closet but I guess whenever we moved everything down to the shed I took some of it out because this was all that I had in there so well not all this was in my closet. Some of it was in the coat closet here. This year though, whenever we take down all the fall stuff, fall is going to have its own big bucket and all the fall stuff will then go down. I won't have to, you know, store anything in my closet anymore. We can take everything down to the shed. And we also had to run to tractor supply this afternoon. So we went ahead and got the hay bales for the fall display out in the yard. We're going to have to wait a few days before we put it up though, because it's supposed to rain. Not surprising, but <laughs> It's supposed to rain quite a bit the next few days, so we're gonna wait until, I'm not even sure what day, whenever we're not gonna have rain for a few days. That way it doesn't get soaked, you know, immediately when we put it out. Last year, I remember it was raining so much, we actually had to put a tarp over it. When we put it up, we just covered it with a tarp for days because it rained and rained and rained. And remember when we took the tarp off, there was a big scary spider on the boy scarecrow? Yeah, that was scary. While we were in there, I looked to see if they had any fall stuff really the only fall things I saw were some kitchen towels that was it they had a lot of stuff on clearance because they're getting rid of all the summer and spring stuff so I got this it's a wall organizer I actually saw it back in the spring and I loved it so it just has this big spot here you can put you know whatever you want to put I'm thinking I want to put some cookbooks in it maybe some magazines or something with different recipes for the different seasons the little thing here slides over and so it says coming and then going would be really cute for the mail like if you had a lot of stuff you had to send off slide it over for going and have your mail in here that you pick up and take out anyway. Manly and Cece want to come out here too so I'm coming but I'm bringing out this. Ball is in the air but the mosquitoes have realized that they're still here so you gotta put the whole armor on. I didn't see a papa. You didn't see a papa? Yeah. Can you see something now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. 
We're about to pop some popcorn, watch a movie, and I'm gonna put these tortilla shells out over here. And in the morning, if it's not raining, breakfast quesadillas on the Blackstone. If it is raining, breakfast quesadillas in the house. 